Okay, here we are talking about Law and Order Criminal Intent, the sixth season. Now, I love this show. Vincent D'Onofrio is great. Guess what? For some reason, usually it's every other episode with um, Chris North and um, um, what's his name in the show? Um, oh, how do I feel? Um, how do I feel? These are what the discs look like. Cause some who knows who made them? Definitely wasn't Universal. <laughs> um, let's just say um, whatever. Um, but you know, you know his character. He was thrown in jail. Uh, not thrown in jail, but he was kicked off the force. Almost kicked off the force and stuff like that. Okay, so what to find out? Bedfell here is just two bedfellows. Um, two brothers with nothing in common, both turn up dead, and Gorn and Ames take a closer look at the close knit family members mourning their deaths. And they can see some people weren't so, you know, oh, I feel bad and stuff. But you can't always go by that because some people are heartless or just don't cry or anything like that, so it's different. Masquerade the cold case murder of a young girl is suddenly thrown. Wide open when the stunning confession by a pedophile in exile. Disgusting. <laughs> I don't know where they come with this stuff. But Gorman, Gorman and Ames aren't convinced the case is that black and white. So like I said, two episodes in a row. Usually they don't do this now. Because like I said, um, I read up on, you know, I mean, and, um, Vincent D'Onofrio to be able to even do continue this show as long as it's been going. Even if it's just every other episode, it, it's, that's something. All right, um, cr country crossover. Um, small town dreams. To, that was no. That was a kind of a wacky episode. The pedophile episode. That was like weird. It belongs on like SVU. Um, small t town dreams turn to dust after a high-profile country music producer is a victim of a hit and run. And although the detectives are dis stunned to discover that it wasn't the collision that killed them. Whoa, really? <laughs> uh, um, let's just say that was okay. Alright, the war at home. Family matters add pressure to an already difficult investigation when Gorn and Ames are called in from vacation time to find a missing soldier, even while Gorn's ailing mother takes a turn for the worst. That was a really sensitive episode, I gotta say. Just, the, you know, like I said, there was issues with in real life in the first place. And now he's playing the, the part of trying to ease his dying mother. That is a rough thing to ask somebody to do. Uh, all I gotta say is is that um he did it very, very well. The mother seemed like she had to... No one... We weren't told in the episode what, what the mother had. But I gotta say, very much so. Oh. And forgive me, I don't, I don't remember the guy's name. I don't... You know, the funny part is I watched three different Law and Orders. Um, Criminal Intent... The regular series, that's two, and SVU. Uh, detect oh, I don't I don't even remember. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Alright, that's it. Um and bye bye.